not the easiest thing to deal with. Wind Ranger late game, of course, same story. It's a pretty pesky hero when uh, that axe comes into play. Prepare for Looking battle. at these two drafts, is there a specific timing that either of the two teams are going for, or are they comfortable with late game? I think now should be more comfortable with, with the late game. I feel like Void is just a better late game hero than the, the Luna. Also, uh, Primal and Brill would be kind of even, but also Wind would be better than the Dazzle. In this matchup, specifically. Okay. But there yeah, are a lot it... of timings they be they should be looking at because like there's enchantress in drafts, so you should be worried. Is he getting the gate? Will they ward the gate to prepare for this rotation so they don't lose their safe lane tower with the first catapult? Or is enchantress col uh, colliding mid? So if she's trying to collide mid, you should try to kill her on the way. I'm pretty sure like Brill and Muerta they can kill enchantress if they collide at her before she collides mid. Okay. Yeah, uh, the the enchanter tends to be a playmaker in uh, the games that you see the hero being picked up, and you also have it. It's another hero that builds into a core, right? The with the begins. the hurricane pike and such. Same with the muerta. Another pulse for battle in case this game does go late. We have a couple of handomides builders. Faces void tends to be one. Uh, the Dazzle on the opposing side, I would assume it's going to be a Dazzle with a Hannah Midas because it's just so much value on the hero. I believe you almost always go Midas. The question is if you're doing it after the Agonies or before the Agonies. I believe you can do Agonies first and then go back for the Midas. Well, that's uh, depending on really how the lane goes most of the time. It should be... Actually, Wind Ranger is a pretty hard laner to deal with if uh, Wind Ranger runs it solidly. Fly actually going for level 1 Wisps in the top lane just so that he can uh, win the lane fight in the right clicks against Fly, but still uh, against MSS, but still is losing it in terms of the damage output. Yeah, they might have trouble in this lane. Two Enchantress gets level 3, Muerta is just gonna destroy her. Nice. Yeah, Cinderbrew, you have a uh, way to activate it with Deadshot as well. Yeah, a lot of damage and on the fly. Go. Is he gonna be able to That's heal fire. Yeah. Have to solve. So much regen already spent. So MSS, he has a camp. That's actually good to have this camp at one minute. But then he should block by the... I'd say the two minutes he should be already blocking, like farm this and block. Because otherwise this camp is going to be really good for Enchantress when she hits level 3. Yeah, he did go for a point in the chant, so uh, no impetus shenanigans in the lane. Emesis is really aggressive on the Muerta. Because the... Brewmaster is just nowhere near speed, just farming, trying to keep Yuma uh, away from XP range. But Morita yeah, the Cryptic Leap Room is really good. It's really good for the team right now. They managed to pull two creeps, that's good. Bottom lane, Leather's got that Quelling Blade just to cut down all the trees, making it a bit more rough for, for Dubu. Be able to hide anywhere, but luckily enough, he does have a ton of healing with Leech Seed. Yeah, this is a lane that, like, when you're Primal Sky, you want to get kills off cooldown, but 3 and Luna, it's a hard lane. They're going on Gunner. Not enough damage. Yeah, it's uh, just so that Dubu can get that uh, Lotus Orb. Spawning both the the Radiant Heroes managed to secure it. So a lot of extra regen and well in case of Dubu it's primarily so that he can get mana, so he can use the C to get more regen. Bounty. Pretty chill game, no kills yet. Wind going for the bounty. Just straight up farm it. 
I think there's a lane that should be a kill is bottom when okay they're gonna reach level three forest on radiant they should be able to at least force a lot on gunner because sky is gonna go for the mid rune i would assume yeah sky is going for the mid rune so they should be forcing something to gunner right now problem is it's a primal and he's like stupid he already has almost a thousand hp it's a Man. hard hero to deal with and if you're not careful they you can get stomped on as well oh made kind of uh i don't know if a miscommunication but at zentic he managed to get the water rune and lalis got the bot one so at zentic wouldn't get but at the end storm stormer is the one without the rune when they control the room mid and they did force something at Gunner, so he won't have much resources in the lane now. Top lane, fly to being back. Took uh, quite a bit of damage, but luckily enough, with the Wisp, he's just fine. Also has level 2 enchant, so we'll be able to spam mana burn the entire time. And that oh, means MSS has. is in a bit of trouble. Has himself the dead shot, even pops his magic stick and everything he has, the Lotus as well. But can't even get the shot off because Yuma hits him with a couple of nasty bashes. Yeah, I had the fairy fire still, but the bash just just kill him. And that first blood, five minutes in, first blood. Yeah, Enchantress level three. Now's the time that we should be looking at what move Fly wants to do. Well, he's uh. Trying to make sure that he can at least get some creeps to take with him. I guess he's gonna send my jungle. Or That's really good for Team Yang. If he's not doing any move now, it means it's it's really good for them. Well, he is heading uh, towards. Uh, is it mid? No, he's going back to check out if MSS is stacking, maybe? Yeah, but he's also. Taking place for the six minute run fight. Yeah. And MSS wants to stack while going there as well, but that means that Fly can just secure the top rune if needed. Going towards mid. TP from the tree and Flax, he walks right up to MSS, and there's a dead shot at the ready. They want to keep that arcane rune available for Atlantic, and indeed, he will be able to refill his bottle, so Fly needs to beeline out of there before he gets uh, slowed and caught. Yeah, that's really good for Team Yang. Like, surviving those early rotations from Enchantress is what you want to do. But the Ensign's left alone. He should be dead here. Let's see. His portraits. One Lotus. Last hit from yep. Lelis is going to be enough. Yeah, the Primal Beast hurts. Definitely, and without Treant, there's no slow, there's no heal, there's no nothing for the Luna. Yeah, it's, I'd say, a, a bit of a misstep from Yansum, because you know the Treant just TP'd meat, transfer to the Enchantress, so you are alone, they know you are alone, and Sky is going to be able to connect back way faster than the Treant. And also, on the other hand, now they use this very short window really well. Props to them. Uh, Dazzle already semi jungling on uh, the uh, well on his uh, fantastic hero Storm Stormer is top net worth, but every killed. core is very close in terms of net worth. The only difference is the supports on nouns have quite a decent amount of farm. That's the uh, power oh, of the no. enchantress in this case, and of course uh, both the supports have a kill apiece. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Wind use the focus fire mid. That is trying to connect. They got him on the way. He's fast. One more Not hit. fast enough. So clear it. T1 Radiant's tower mid gone within fallen. eight minutes. And that makes uh, farming for the Dazzle in the mid position a lot harder. And if he goes to the jungle, the support's taking over the mid lane to get some experience is also very scary. Going for a fly. Probably can get the kill. Dead shot by That's a very important nice. kill. Not so they need to kick Enchantress out of their jungle, so Dazzle will be able to farm. And they need to have wards defending their jungle, so they know where Enchantress is. So the wards are really good from Team Yang. 
Dyer's middle tower is under attack. And now they kind of need to Radiant follow the enchantress down. before she gets into their area of the map. But it seems like they want to make a move top. Speed has ultimate. Have the two supports there. Speed's so going for the full spirit vessel. Uh, so no hand of this uh, rush on the brewmaster this game. Bottom tower Against the Enchantress attack. it makes sense because the healing is quite annoying, but he's only sticking with the one point in it. The rest is so far an enchant so he can just farm up the jungle faster. Kind I of how you would play with the Chen, right? You just get creeps and farm while there's nothing happening. Radiant's bottom yeah. tower is under attack. I think like Chen you wanna hit that uh, like 20 minutes spike and just take out the map and enchanter is a bit different the way you you play you, you spike earlier but then you don't do this like five man thing it's interesting that now they're 2k ahead and i believe it comes from just from the bounties if yang were the team to take all the bounties they would probably be even or even ahead they're not properly giving like priority to bounties at the end announced they are on the spot Radiant's at the nine minutes let's see so i'm sorry is he gonna get something fine Dyer's regen runes okay most of the Dyer's time it would be great but in fallen. this case it's just okay gunner is going for blade mill into heart what a surprise to see on a primal beast never would have expected that item build to come through <laughs> new meta yeah not the new so surprising <laughs> Man, He's farming the stacks. Man got eight plates at TI by just getting a blade mill heart on an ogre mid and it works. That's the state of Dota right now. But there's going to be a new patch in three days, they announced. Uh, it's not like the big patch, but it's going to be, I think, E. Yeah. But I think, like, even. Okay, they go mid on Stormstormer. I mean, it's probably yeah, still a pretty decent fine. patch. It's just not a new numbered patch. Yeah, because I think like if you just change some numbers, the gameplay, the heroes at the meta will all change. You don't need to change anything in the map, you don't need big changes. Like you change a bit like Blade Mail, you reduce, maybe you increase cost, maybe reduce Tarasca healing. I mean, to you... be fair, you probably should change a little bit more. Maybe like a couple of shards or ultis. Not full reworks of heroes, that would be for the big patch, but... Give people something Dyer, spicy to look at. Instead of like everything changes into Crystal Maiden gets plus one armor and uh, Dazzle loses one armor. Well, letter patches are usually like this. I know, but I think a bit more spice, a bit more entertaining changes. Game is two and two. That's why we're just talking about random stuff. Yeah, obviously, but it's a 4k net with lead right now for now. It's like they're the fact that their supports are finding farm as well. And as you said, the bounty runes is a pretty big Radiant's plus. Middle tower uh, under and the fact that a Xantic plus speed did not go for a hand of Midas makes it uh, pretty favorable in a slow game for the dire side. Yeah, and they just kited a smoke from the Brio and the Morta. But they also smoked themselves. Let's see who's gonna Stone win this engagement. Is there an engagement? No. Speed actually get the not shit using a primal split just yet this game as well. Yeah. Zero split uses. Okay, they CMSS. Oh. Bomb. 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 And that's a, queer, a pretty quick kill there. Going in for the tree. Okay, yeah, no, they're gonna run the opposite direction, just scare them off a little bit. Another kill came through. We're up to 5k net worth lead without realistically much action. Yeah. But now it's taking benefit of everything that the map offers. They take all bounties, they take the part up runes, they stack a lot. I'm curious about like stack statistics. We don't have like a, this observer tool. But probably when the game ends and we look at stacks, they definitely will have stacked way more. Well, they did have a couple of nice stacks for Xantic. He's getting close to that Aghanim Scepter. Once Ags comes into play, uh, is it just 
farm more or will they actually make a move on the map? I think next move is 15 minutes catapult. There's the 40 minute rune, but it doesn't seem like there will be much happening. MSS top. His ult is forced. We just run away. Yeah, the basic dispel gets rid of the enchant debuff so you can easily slit run out. Things are looking rough for King You don't want to be that behind when you have a Luna Draft. It's, it's a hero that has a lot of trouble playing from behind. It's a hero that's supposed to win the lane and just farm jungle faster than the enemy carry. Having the same net worth on Luna and the Void is it's trouble for the Luna. And the other two cores even have more net worth than Luna. It's a really, really bad situation they're at. Yeah, Gunner's got himself the Reaver, so at that stage, you know, he gets hard done. Luna joins the fight, gets to a point where he has Eclipse, then he probably just nukes himself against Gunner. Flies, almost done with the Dragonlance, so you're gonna have the extra core. Enchantress coming in, Muerta's going for the Rod of Atos. You're gonna get a couple more cores in this game to deal with. It's uh, Skyrath Mage is going for some more support build, building up the uh, Glimmer Cape Bounty. to try and keep his heroes alive. And you know what he just went for? What? For the bounty, my friend. Bounties, oh, yeah. bounties. They have both of them as well. 15 minute mark. This game changing that like no team's getting kills, but he is getting all the bounties. Has a ward, spots the Luna. 7k net Primal. with advantage. Yeah. I mean, one big fight and not the entire advantage can switch shift, but it is, uh, you're slowly just losing grip on, of the game at this stage. Yeah, especially because besides the Luna that we already talked about, there's a Brill Master that went Vassal. So he doesn't have Midas, he doesn't have a way of scaling. When you, you do Vassal, you want to fight. So the build just not... It's just not the gameplay plus build, right? If you want to play like this, you go Midas. If you go Vassal, you want to fight. Yeah, it's you can play both ways. Like, it's something you cannot... that you need to have discussed with like your team, the game plan. What yeah. are we gonna go for? If Dazzle says, I wanna fight, then you go for the vessel. If he says, I wanna farm, then Anamitis. Gonna go in. There is a Wildwing Ripper, so you could get Hurricane back if you're not careful. Frodo missed the mark. Will they punish it? That is the question. 160 seconds, no Chrono. They smoke up immediately. I'm looking for a catch here on the side of Yang. If they should just group mid and take the mid tower. Like the this, this smoke you will not find a hero. It's just too much cope to press the smoke. Like sure, you're gonna smoke three heroes, don't show in any wave after they just use chrono and you're gonna hate someone? No. Just like That was the first go mid. The game. Yeah. First Chrono, Brewmaster still hasn't used a split. I don't think we've seen Overgrowth yet. Let's see, any other ulties attack. that we haven't seen? No, that's it. Oh, I mean, uh, it's fine that well. Yuma didn't use the Chrono, right? He seems just like scaling more. And he tried a Chrono for support kill, sure, but he doesn't need to use the Chrono on the upcoming, upcoming two minutes. But it's fine, okay, he missed the Chrono. Spots out speed, needs to get away. Glimmer sends him back though, a little bit feared up. Didn't have pulverized previously and will get the TP out because they have no ways of interrupting once that dead shot has been used. And Treant was on the other side of the map trying to farm up his shard. Goes into the overgrowth, in comes the eclipse as well, and Fly will be taken down by Yamsen. So now we get to see the first eclipse and overgrowth combination coming into play and it manages to secure a kill. It's interesting to see Yang finally doing moves on the map, but you mentioned yeah there are no stuns if Brill doesn't press split, right? 
I believe he should just press the spell and try to go for the kill. That's what uh, Yuma did. You cannot make a mistake if you don't try, right? Yeah, now they go for him. That is a bit far away. Speed. The slow is pretty good to use, but forced out on the bruise play. Gunner needs to quickly beeline out of there because there's a chase coming in. He's going to be held in position. Are there any more rotations coming through? Stormstorm are trying to help out the primal. He doesn't have pulverize available anymore. A couple of stomps, but a great shackle shot from Stormstorm going in onto Exantic. They're trying to stomp him down, but he's got the shallow grave. This is going to be enough to keep him alive. Doubtful, very doubtful, is dead. Speed is next. And Gunner's still alive, charging right through Dubu. Stomp, stomp, power shot, Storm Stormer with a ungodly shackle shot right there. The perfect lineup through that entire forest of enemies. Yeah, I feel like the Primal could die even with the Tarask, but then the shackle shot just Radiant saved him by keeping the attack. Dazzle and the Murta stunned. And feels like the team that actually is willing to try is the team that's getting result out of it, right? Because they saw the primal and then decide not to use spells to try to kill the primal. And then the primal go on then and they need to press the the primal split defensively. Then the fight is just not good. They're not initiating. It's, they, they took the fight on Yang on the terms that Nouns offer to them instead of taking on their terms. Uh, yeah, it's uh, definitely Radiance a bit of a struggle bus here scanning. compared to the cooldowns as well. Because Primal Beast has a really short cooldown on of all of spells, whereas Brewmaster has to be a bit more careful with his approach. Yeah, but the game was on a very slow manner, right? And if you're not using it for a kill on a Primal Beast, who you're using it for, right? Yeah, it's Luna not has like BKB. They're really taking any uh, other engagements the entire time. Oh, the the cool heroes, they are aligning. Let's look at it. Oh yeah, the heal bomb spray from Medzantic. Uh, actually, Luna is sending away his career. Medzantic. Sometimes they fail. It's fun to watch. Yeah, it does tend to sometimes, sometimes go usually wrong. Usually they succeed. It depends yeah, on succeeded. how many couriers they send. Because if they send one too little, it tends to go really, really bad. So that's Aegis for Storm Stormer. Has Dagger, has BKB. A brew got Feels the like shark. they're ready. They're ready to start taking tier 2s in the map. I'd say, firstly, the tier 1 top. Because also then you're going to control the enemy try area. Emson. He's going for the shard now, and honestly, one he's got BKB Manta Mask of Madness shard. That kind of feels like a go time, right, for the Radiant side. He's got the items he needs. Dazzle not yet there with the Manta. What do you What are your thoughts about like this Manta uh, Dazzle build? Do you like it more than just the um, Blink Dagger, Anamitis, for all that matter? I understand. You Radiant would need to compare the Manta decision with maybe BKB because he's playing to silence and he needs to be able to press the spells. So the things like which sort of the spell is he getting? Is he getting the Manta so he also has Radiant more damage because he's a universal hero, he can right click more? Or is he going BKB just playing safer, making sure he's going to survive? Who's not going to survive is Dubu, but as Gunner goes on him... Yeah, the dust comes out. Trian got spotted, Trian got killed, even with that shard, not going to be able to uh, hide very much longer, fly towards mid. Has he got... Yeah, he's Thought. got the force Yansom. stuff done. Got shackled. Storm Stormer. Storm Stormer. On the run. Kind of dangerous move. He's completely alone. Just TP out. Forces at Zentic TP. It's not really too problematic. I mean, with the cooldown reduction the entire time of bad juju, you get your TPs back pretty fast Probably he felt like had more damage on wind gunners almost got the full axe completed this is a really fun Radiant's primal beast tower is under attack. and he's it so is. tanky as well like look at that hp it, oh. 
enjoy while you can look at a primal base because this hero is always first phase banned for a reason. And I believe after this game they're gonna be like, hmm, that was the reason. Yeah, but which of those heroes Why? do you let through then? Because then it's like they let Kunka through or they let. Um, I mean, I don't think anyone that Spirit Breaker through because that's just, that's at waiting to lose. Spit. Gunner's going at him. Charge MSS. actually goes on MSS. Gunner is uh, which has a hand of Midas. MSS with a hand of Midas. Just use on the on the Enchanter script then. <laughs> at least someone on he the Radiant side has a hand of Midas. I expected it on he the Blue has Master. Midas and Philistone. Man's got to make bank. This game is last going really slow, so he's got to get some money somehow. It just feels they're not on the same page. When you see Brill Master with Vassal and position for Muerta with Hand of Midas. On the shackle shot does come in, going for the Brew Master, nuke him down. There's long enough of a stun. They're turning their attention towards the Dazzle. Shackle shot is not going to connect. They do manage Yuma? to get two Pro? kills. Oh, he actually does get the jump in with the Chrono. Xantic is done for, and that is three kills right there. Four now is looking for the tier two tower in mid. They need to get rid of the Luna and lose otherwise uh, the creeps will not join them for the fun. And yeah, they are, uh, they're just playing better. It's that simple. They're yeah. finding the fights. Uh, they still don't really want to fight on the ra uh, Radiant side yet. Yeah, they're making the moves. Bright side is Brewmaster has a Vessel Charge now in 25 minutes because he died. Yeah, that's, that's always look at the positive. So his four, no, 2.7k item now is like useful yeah he gets actually he gets very little stats <laughs> from spirit vessel yeah. yeah they changed that it's kind of depressing how little you actually get from spirit vessel these days thanks but then again if they make it the other way around everyone goes for spirit vessel just like they went for rod of atos when it get, got a lot of stats, and you just had Radiant's like top tower every Wind Ranger, attack. every every pretty much uh, Universal Hero getting the, the item. Radiance top tower has fallen. Yeah. This, now the the broken item is Taras, which strength heroes can also build. You Radiant's don't need to be Universal. Yeah, and that's the attack. only reason why AA is even in this meta, because he counters Taras. Also Phoenix. Also, also and, and Wyvern, think, but where, where is Wyvern? I still play a lot of Wyvern. I love Wyvern. He's my boy. Oh, cop. They want to contest. Gunner, he does have his Ags, so he needs a couple of uproar stacks before he can stomp, stomp, stomp his way to victory. And you have the uh, the waves coming all the way through. He forces everyone back. And how much HP has he lost so far? It's just weird that they TP all heroes and they don't actually take the fight. Luna does not have the butterfly. 25 minutes is a timing that you definitely want to have already. So he's already two minutes late on it. And he's got a gem like now as well in the primal. So Dugu's got to be very careful. And kind of knows where Dugu is because he's got that gem. Goes in for the pom pom. Shallow Grave. Nice Shallow Grave. But how much longer does it keep him alive? Not really. Bruce Split comes out. Speed. Honestly, might need to just try and just. Yuma has Chrono. He's just flanking. He's looking for a better target here. The Dazzle is the one that you really want to catch every single time. Because he's the only one that has a save. <laughs> Atlantic's still yeah, not done with the Manta style. Now he is. So now we finally get to see Manta Dazzle. Radiant's Needs the honestly before the high ground push comes in, which is happening right now, the shard is such a mu must have on Dazzle. Yeah. Meanwhile, Jensen, just that. For Chrono. Okay. Real dead inside the base. Feels like it's over. Slowly yeah. but steady. Now he's just making the better moves. And Yang 
afraid to make moves, so to say. Maybe they respect too much now. Because they, they have a good idea on the game, but they're just not trusting their guts. Just... They go for the move and they give up on the last minute. And also it's the, as you said, you know, bit of a discussion which move they should make. Should they go for late game? If they do, should they build? It's great vessel. I mean, he has another charge, so at least that's a plus on the Brewmaster, but that's not really what you want to see from your entire early game investment on the Radiant side. It just did not manage to pay off. Yeah. But like, if they want to play the sort of game where they are not making moves, they should change the heroes and change the build. Basically, it doesn't match. You, you draft like one way and you play completely the other way. Like, you shouldn't be playing Luna if you're gotcha. not willing to be aggressive in the map. And, the and on the other hand, really if you have a Luna that's not willing to be aggressive and the team will not be aggressive, then you, you just go Midas on the other heroes. You adjust. Well, the problem is as well, because Luna, could, if he goes aggressive, he needs to have backup. So he needs to have the, d the Dazzle behind him at all times. Well, we saw, of course, uh, Yuma lurking about to try and find the Dazzle, because that's the bigger target. But it, with Antantix build so far he's he's trying to be the extra damage core which means luna can't really be in front because dazzle wants to be in, dazzle wants to do the damage so it's luna is pretty much just left to his own device in this game yeah would be nice if brew had like manta already because then the the fight would get easier he could just throw the illusions get information they need information on the fight. They need to have vision of targets. They have the damage. It's just they they cannot get the info because if Brewmaster front, front lines is gonna get silenced. So Tomer goes uh, a bit aggressive. Overgrowth holds him in place, but of course with that action scepter, a little bit more survival. Yamson, yeah, there's gonna be stomp stomp, but the Chrono onto a Dantica. Perfect two man Chrono by Yuma. Yamson yeah, on the very edge, pops the eclipse. Do they have the damage? They will find Storm Storm. Mystic Flare with that Aghanim Scepter coming in from Lelis. Not really doing as much as they would like, but Yamsi still being chased all the way back. Yuma for the hunt. Doesn't have the Chrono anymore, but still can do a lot of damage if he gets on top of his opponents. A one-for-one -one trade is actually very favorable if it would only stick with the one-for-one -one trade. On the side, it's the Brewmaster and the where they're both getting caught out and they only have the treant plus luna left standing Radiant's bottom tower is under attack yeah they managed to get the kill on the wing the wing just blinks in the middle of three four heroes try to to get the dazzle but then they just lack damage right the luna could survive because of the butterfly the shard but they lack damage they cannot kill a 4.3k hp target as the primal beast and once the primal split is over the fight is over for them He's also almost got the overwhelming blink, so more strength on the primal beast, more slows on the enemy heroes. More nastiness to deal with. Status yeah, they changed it, right? Status resistance doesn't work anymore on uh, slows or something. Or some weird stuff. I, I completely forgot what it does, but there was something about slow resistance. There is low resistance. It's a added mechanic to the game. Some spells like Mordesian give it, the gyro first spell give it. Roche, seems like a free Roche for now. Again, slowly but steady, they're just taking the advantage. 23k ahead. Now they're gonna also have a cheese. Lad is already with agonies. Fly with Dragonlance. Look at how far Fly and Lelis are, especially Fly, he's huge. And yeah, Spike, sorry. Yeah, yeah and Lotus. <laughs> Full Lotus to be uh, finished Dyer's up. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dubu, calls the smoke. And almost catches him. Very scary gaming Gunner actually wants to equip the Ags. I mean, to be fair, that's his next item to equip, but... 
do we even get to the point where he would be purchasing that tool? Doesn't even have a BKB. Granted, they can't kill him. He's got 5k HP and a blade mill. So it's really and dangerous to, to even attempt to kill it. Like, they probably kill themselves before they kill it. Yeah, that's the thing. It's just to guarantee you're not getting bursted, you do the BKB, or if you're getting cancelled during your OT. Maybe now he can go because the Dazzle has a shard. Beforehand, they kind of were lacking on, on stuns. Control. Do you know if the entire Nouns roster is playing in NA? I don't. And I don't have console to status. I was just wondering if Stormstormer and uh, Yuma were already playing from NA. Currently. Same with probably on the other side at Zantic. I don't think they are. It's been like... Like, TI was 15 days ago. I don't think they're, like, traveling to the US for a qualifier. Might be wrong, though. I know that in Western EU, they, uh... Team Tickles has a player that is playing with, like, 200 ping. They're off playing. Playing from Southeast Asia. That's some mad respect right there. Yeah, Teal was also playing some... Oh, Yansom. Yansom. No. That's painful. The classic, I ain't gonna waste my BKB for a TP. And then afterwards, I should have wasted my BKB for a TP. Gunner gets himself back. They throw everything on him. Still has the cheese. Doesn't even swap it in. That's how comfortable he is with uh, the way the game's uh, running. Got that Enchantress heal with the heart. He just healed a full. That's an easy 3.5k heal in like 10 seconds. Free monster dies for the ward on the gate. Well, into the radiant yeah. base they go. Yuma only needs to get a chrono onto the Dazzle, who is in the back line, which Gunner spots out. Shallow Grave comes out, the supports are dropping. Both of them are taken down. The Xantix is the last one standing. They have buybacks. On the supports, we'll be using the first one, but they can take down buildings pretty quickly if the wind ranger uses the focus fire for specifically that reason. Yuma gets the cheese swapped in. Man's still walking around with an eight. Like that. Die back on Dubu. Just slowly dying. Jam. He recover with the player? Yes, it's MSS. One more set of racks to be secured, and then they got Megas in their hands. Shackles nice got onto two. Oh, the perfect two targets as well. And Xantic is silenced up in towards the fountain. He goes, will be taken down. And there is no buyback. The G to the G gets called, and it is Nouns with a very dominant showdown coming through. Surely this match would be more even, right? Yeah, maybe. Right? That's very much corrected. Uh, no, just. Oh, surely. Played me. 